Hey, it's Jim Parr here. We're going to be installing this quick set front entry door uh, handle and lock on this beautiful eight foot uh, door with side lights that we got on Facebook Marketplace for $250. The thing is gorgeous. It's only six months old. And uh, so if you're a DIYer or building your new home yourself like I am, with my wife, we are literally doing it with our own hands. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. We'll give you the encouragement to do it yourself because uh, that's the way you have to do things. You have to be hands-on to get things done right, especially on your own home. So uh, let's dive into this video right now. Okay, we went with Quickset just because of the history and uh, and we just know that they're good locks, and so that's what we went with. It looks like just uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing and what you need to get going. So you need a hammer and a screwdriver. That's basically it. Uh, we're going to use our cordless screwdriver. So as we pull this out and drop everything, it comes with, uh, basically it comes with, uh, two quick set keys, two sets of latches, strikes, and screws, and then, of course, your instructions. And this comes with a smart key, so you can change the locks whenever you want to. Obviously, set them to, uh, uh, you can set all the locks in your house to the same setting. So, uh, looks like it's got all the adjustments, universal, uh, catches so if you got a bigger two and five eighths hole uh, it'll allow for that so let's go on to the installation I prepared the uh, to cut the hole and uh, we already have the hole but uh, make sure this lock works so we just need to unpackage this it's got a couple screws that go in the back here and basically hold the lock into place that and the reason I say that is because this piece of cardboard is basically the pattern that you're going to use. So you've got your lock and your deadbolt, your handle, and your buttonhole. So uh, you're going to use this piece of cardboard for that pattern. So we got our pattern here. Here's the buttonhole. Uh, this is the one for this lock here, but there's four different holes. There's different sizes, so uh, We already have that here's for the handle and here's for the deadbolt So we'll take this over and we'll line it up on our door to see how it falls into place Door you can see we already have a lot of doors are going to have these two uh, drilled out already uh, Here's the buttonhole down here so we're just going to hold this up and we can see that it lines up with everything that we need. So that takes a lot of prep out. The buttonhole, you're going to use a quarter inch drill to drill that. And then obviously a hole saw that is the same size as this hole here. So these little buffers, this was with the door when we got it and it's just a a little piece that um, depending on the lock size but quick set does give you one of these so our next step is installing the deadbolt uh, latch uh, this is extendable so you just twist it like this and then lock it in and it makes it longer so if you need a longer latch and you'll find that out on your doors uh, you can do that if you've got holes already situated so We'll go ahead. This is going to go in your top hole up here. And uh, we don't need the extension. I can see that already. But uh, we're just going to install that. And it says right on it, uh, up. So that's going to go up in the hole. So there we go with that. Okay, our next step is to take these two small screws and attach our latch. Now don't put them down too deep. Uh, get both of them on and then you can snug them up after that. And this one's a little bit off just because they had a latch in here so whoever installed it before didn't install it quite straight so we'll just straighten that out. I'm a little OCD, so 
I like things to look perfect and just being they have that hole in there it may not let us do that so we got that on and remember the deadbolt is this one the other one is the latch for the door handle but the deadbolt is basically uh, that square so now we'll get the other latch installed with the two short screws and the, the other latch has that type of look to it if you have installed doors or door handles before. So the first thing is we get both latches installed. So we'll get this uh, one on with these two small screws. There we go. That's nice and centered in these holes here. If you're wondering what I'm using, this is the Bosch Impactor. I've had this for years, since 07, and uh, it's the beast. I'm not promoting this at all, but I'll just tell you this little 10 volt is amazing for DIY work. I'll leave a link below if, uh, if you'd like to check that out. So our next step is to install the deadbolt. So we've got to put this piece in first. And that goes in snug, like so. It's kind of a protector piece. And then uh, this is going to slide through the hole. And make sure you got it uh, the right way up. So quick set, you should be able to read quick set, which is on there. And then slide it in and, and look towards the back and just line it up. And we got that on there. And then I'm just going to hold it on the back here with this little pin. So we'll switch this camera around. And we're going to put the back of this on. So this is the interior side. And we got to line that up. There's a lock locked on the top. So we probably want that unlocked. We'll slide that on and then we want the locked on the top so that we can read that and then we've got to this is the tricky part is getting these screws to line up so we've got to put two screws in and then snug those in to the hold the deadbolt in okay so we're gonna these are these long threaded screws so they're the longest screws in your package, basically. That's why I couldn't reach the other ones. And I like to snug these up with my hand initially before I put a screwdriver on them. I'd say initially thread these by hand with a Phillips screwdriver or just use the Phillips to tighten them up. We get the deadbolt working, comes out nice, it's nice and secure. Next step is we're going to put this handle on, which is really heavy duty. I love the, the hardware, there's nothing plastic about it, but there's a spindle on the back. and Basically you just pull it out and then twist it if you need it the other way. So I'm, I need it this way, and so that's the spindle for the latch, so we're going to go ahead and slide that on and you'll know by looking at the back of your latch which way it needs to go so that just sits on there like that and then uh, we'll go ahead and put the screw in in the uh, the bottom part down in the uh, buttonhole right here just to hold this on so that we can get it secure so on this, we're going to put the screw down here. Basically, it's this screw, and then it goes into this little pin here. And uh, the pin goes on the back of the door. So 
So we'll slide that in and line that up. And you gotta give it a tap to get it in. I would recommend you put the pin on and tap it in with, um, I would use like a rubber mallet so you don't beat it up. So we'll go ahead and put our screw in, get that lined up. Same deal, just thread these by hand to get started. And then you can snug them up later on. So, okay, we got that secured. And we're going to put the back latch on. So let me flip you guys around and we'll put the doorknob on. Doorknob and then these, there's two of these little screws with like a little divot on the end of them. So we'll set the handle in. Handle only goes in one way. And then again, I'm just going to thread these in. Get these lined up. So on these, we've got a this latch for the doorknob will go on the bottom. Uh, you want to make sure everything lines up. And they give you some long screws. that on nice and snug I ended up using a little bit shorter screw on these because the other ones were just too long for this door so these were the long ones these are the shorter ones those work just as good because this is a steel steel case reinforced door so there is no getting in the store quick review we just put on the deadbolt first we put both latches in and then we assembled this and then this we held it on with the buttonhole and then we went over here and we put on the latches which are nice and clean and we're just gonna see how she shuts and man that's really tight and nice and secure so there you go if you have any questions about this door here or the assembly leave your comments below let us know what kind of door that you're assembling and if uh, you like this video hit that thumbs up it helps our videos rank and uh, see you on the next video